Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising, I'm your leader, the Divine One, aka Sheriff Queen 4, and today I'm bringing you the second episode of Pokemon Showdown Random Battles. So, we're, well, I'm just going to get right into it. That's pretty much it. So, now we're going to fight this guy. Uh, his name is Maximo64, and we're just going to see what he leads off with. He leads off with an area dose. I'm in here with a Chansey. I can't Toxic this thing. I can go for an Ice Beam. I'm not 100% sure if this thing is physical or special. I can do a little bit of scouting, so that's a, he's probably going to set up the sticky web, if anything. Thankfully, I do have a Starmie in here that has the rapid spin. Uh, see what else I have. Uh, I don't have anything that's going to be able to take him out in one hit. That's the only thing that I'm really concerned about. Uh, I'm actually going to go and use Ice Beam. He's probably just going to go right away for the... Um, yeah, that's what I thought. He went right for the sticky web. I should have switched into Starmie first and foremost. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go into Shuckle because Shuckle is already slow as it is. There is nothing that is going to be slower than Shuckle. Like, maybe a Steelix. Maybe a Steelix, but I highly doubt it. It doesn't really matter either way, so I'm just going to straight up go into Shuckle and start setting up some hazards. I'm really hoping that he goes into something that can't really do much damage to Shuckle. That would be ideal. So I can get like some Toxic and uh, a Sticky Web and some Stealth Rocks up. Hopefully he doesn't have a Spinner. I'm really hoping that I'm lucky enough that he doesn't have a Spinner. So anyway, Sticky Web. I'm going to set up all them Toxic Spikes. That's fine with me. I am going to go for the... What should I do? I'm going to go for Infestation. That way I can get a lot of things, to, like a lot of different things set up so that he can't really do very much with it. I had to crack my knuckles. I cracked them away from the microphone. Anyway, you're going to switch out into Ampharos. Okay, you're locked in here with the Infestation. I really doubt that you have very much to actually do damage to me, so I'm just going to go for Toxic. Because, I mean, just look at Shuckle's defensive stats. I mean, 414 defense and 414 special defense is quite ridiculous. Uh, Focus Blast, it's neutral. So, I mean, that still does a solid chunk of damage. But, even still, like, even with Ampharos' crazy high special attack, Shuckle is, like, he's just not even bothering. Like, he doesn't care. So, I'm just gonna go straight up for a Sticky Web. Uh, if this guy knows, like, if he just keeps going for Focus Blast, there's good chances that there's going to be... Okay, so he's going to decide to switch out for, uh, Dragon Pulses. So he's getting some solid damage done to him. Uh, let's see, because Infestation has him locked in. I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock. Because he's taking he's taking some really hefty damage between Toxic and uh, Infestation, which is awesome for me. So I don't know, because he can't get out either. Like, he's locked into it, and so am I. So basically, it's whichever one dies first. Which is fine with me, because that way I get my hazards set up freely. There's no restriction to that. I mean, he won't be able to kill me off. Unless he gets a crit Dragon Pulse. Because Focus Blast didn't quite cut it. So I'm really hoping that he tries to go for another Focus Blast and misses. That would just be... Because I know that he wouldn't be able to kill me off the next turn. The Ampharos would faint, and I would have all of my setups done. Which would be perfect for me. He can't switch out. He's probably trying to switch out or and realize that he can't really do anything to Shuckle either. So I'm I hate when they do this. I just like make your move. I know you're trying to think ahead, but you know all of the moves that I had that Shuckle has except for Stealth Rock. That's the only move you haven't seen yet. Okay, so you went for Dragon Pulse, I lived it. Go for a Stealth Rock. I'm going to heal up a little bit, and... Okay, well, you're going to die to Toxic next turn anyway. So I'm just going to go for a Infestation. There's nothing really... There's no more setups that I can do. Shuckle is locked in here as well. So you go for Focus Blast. It was a crit. It was unnecessary since the regular move actually did 31% on its own. Now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go into Staramie, go for a Rapid Spin, and then switch out. The reason that I'm going to do this is because Starmie has Natural Cure, so Toxic Spikes isn't going like it's not going to do very much. I do believe it has Natural Cure. I'm thinking, yes, it does, and it's also Life Orbed. So I'm hoping that he goes into something that he's like uh, that this uh, 
does weak against Starmie. That way, he'll be forced to switch, and then Starmie can get a free rapid spin off and then switch back out. Unless he's going to predict the rapid spin and go into a ghost type that he potentially has. I really don't know. Okay, so apparently they disconnected. And, oh wow, 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 wow. I can't believe this. What the hell, dude? What the hell? This is extremely boring. Like, why would you do this to me? You're probably in a really bad spot and you knew it because you lost your Mega this early. I hate players that play like that. This is why I hate Showdown because you come across so many players who just, like, can't handle being beaten. They can't handle being... Like, because I'm not even playing that well. It's just that I guess he was upset that he lost his Mega. I don't know. Or maybe he just got disconnected. Who cares? But anyway, 30 seconds left... 20 seconds left. You know what? I would say that's going to be the end of the battle. Since this was an extremely short episode, and by short I mean like ridiculously short, I'm actually going to go out and do another battle because I already know that I won that one. He's not coming back. So we're just going to go and do another one for this episode even though I'm only supposed to be doing one per episode. We're just going to look for a battle. Okay, so now we're going to be fighting against a guy that I can't even pronounce his name. It's just that much of a mess. It's probably Mega Pidgeot. Uh, thankfully, I'm in with Diancie. Unfortunately, you have no Rock-type moves. That's not good for me. You know what? I'm just going to go... Okay, so he's searching up weaknesses. Steel. Uh, da -da -da. Resistances. Energies. I think that I should go straight up for... Because Calm Mind is probably too risky. Pidgeot is really overpowered. I don't know what... Uh, let's just take a look. Oh, come on. Of course it doesn't work. Anyway, I'm just going to go straight up for a Moonblast. Because there's nothing that really wants to take any damage from this Pidgeot whatsoever. Okay, so you switched out into a Powdown, that's fine with me. Oh man, I did some solid damage there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to take it out in the next turn. I should have went for Combine, I would have been able to do a lot more damage. Um, let's see now. Because you're probably going to go for a Steel type move. But I'm faster than you, so I'm just going to go for another Moonblast. Hope I get a high roll, take him out in just one more shot. And I do. That's that. Hepowdon, get out of here. Get out of here. Did you really? Did you really just... Really? Are you serious? Couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. That's two disconnects in this episode. This is... Guys... Need to learn to follow through with your matches, even if you're losing really poorly. <laughs> like, if you're doing a terrible job and you're being absolutely bodied, you still should play through the match. Or at least halfway through. Like, what's the entertainment value of that? Anyway, I'm going to end it off there, and I'm going to tell you this episode why Pokemon Showdown players are terrible. Well, I, just, I can't say that because a lot of them aren't. But anyway, all I have to say is if you would like to enlist in Rebellion, all you need to do is suck a punch the subscribe button, hex suck a punch that like button, every little bit helps, and I'll be back with bigger and better Pokemon videos. So until next time, you guys.